Okay, so you have a spawn business. Maybe you have a new business that you just started, or maybe you're planning on starting a new business. If you happen to fall in any of those categories and you happen to have a flower business of some sort, you know it is always a challenge to market your business and we are always working on trying to get the word out to our local customers and clientele that hey we're over here we have great products and services available for you however we have a tendency to focus a lot on google but believe it or not there are actually some other places that you can utilize to promote your small business for your immediate local area that don't cost a thing. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am designer Frank Blanchard, AIFD, and today's video is a real short one, mainly because I've got three key places that I think a lot of small businesses and florists, we fall in this category, have a tendency to forget and also might not be aware of the power <laughs> available to us when we use them. So when we have a flower shop or a flower farm or you're a studio designer that does wedding and event work, doesn't really matter what your niche is, anybody with any kind of a small business we get our website generated for our business and then we go to work trying to promote our website and get as many backlinks as possible, etc. So we set up our profiles on social media, etc. And if you follow my channel at all, you know I have quite a few other videos specifically on the topic of your Google My Business listing and how to optimize that. And I'll definitely link in the cards up above to those so you can check those out if you haven't seen them before. However, there are a couple of other key spots that can really help gain more customers and clientele and help you show up for more potential new customers so that you get found in search. Okay, so the platform and the web browser and search engine I happen to be talking about is Bing. When you get your business listing all filled in and accurate in Bing places, Again, just like your Google My Business listing, Bing Places is another free listing where you can list all kinds of information about your business, but also your address, where you're located, what your hours are, your phone number, all of your contact information, and exactly where you're located. Why this is so important for small businesses is, believe it or not, Amazon. Bing Places for Business is what Amazon uses for all of the information that goes through Alexa. Do you agree, Alexa? Here's something I promised on Wikipedia. <laughs> Not really. Stop, Alexa. Okay. Alexa, stop. She does have a mind of her own, but she does have a lot of accurate information. So for all of those people out there in the world that use voice search through either Alexa or Google or any of the others, your information is going to come up. So that is a real important one to know and be aware of because all the information that you feed into Bing just like on your Google My Business listing, all of that information is going direct into the Bing search engine. And it does have a lot of power, so that's good for you. Another one that people, I think, who do have small businesses aren't aware of has to do with 
Apple Maps. If you download the Apple Maps Connect app, that is where you can actually get your business listed in the Apple Maps app that happens to be the platform that is automatically listed by default on anybody's iPhone. So because of that, for all of those iPhone users out there who possibly might not utilize Google as much, the Apple Maps app is most likely the platform that they use when they're searching for places to go or they're using it for directions, etc. So definitely check out the Apple Maps app and make sure that you're getting your business listed there. Now, the third and last one is one that as small businesses and retail florists, we kind of would like to ignore is the Yelp platform. Yelp is really important, especially if you are focusing on and working on getting your business listed with the Apple app, Maps app. And that is because Yelp is one of the other platforms that Apple uses as a means of verifying your business and making sure that all of your information is accurate and it sees your reviews, etc. So it ends up showing up kind of the same way as your Google My Business listing does. So those are my tips for you today to check into if you happen to be a new business owner, you have any kind of a small business, maybe you're planning on starting a new business and for all of you retail florists out there those three things if you can focus on making sure that all of your information is accurate on these platforms it's going to strengthen your overall web presence and it's a way to market your business to more people and more customers and clientele without having to pay anything for it. It's totally free. If you like this video and you like content like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that button down below. And if you'd like to be notified when I do upload new content for you, definitely hit that bell icon. But until next time, I've got more information coming your way this week. But start working on these other platforms to help strengthen your web presence. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.